Hi, I'm Christine. I live in my SUV part-time with my sidekick, Chase the Dog. We travel the U.S. in search of adventure, food, and fun. In this video, we move into our new vehicle home and experience life on the road together for the very first time. Hi, guys. Chase and I are getting ready to take our first trip in our new vehicle home. Voila! In my previous video, I go over how I downsized from two vehicles to this one and added this stowaway to my travels. I'm equally excited and nervous to get on the road. I'm excited because I know we're gonna have amazing adventures and I'm nervous because it's gonna take some getting used to for both of us. This is a new vehicle for me with a totally new setup. I just bought a Jackery power station so I need to figure out how to use that. And Chase is 13 years old and blind so he comes with some unique requirements. But I'm confident that we'll figure out a system that works for both of us, right? Right. I wasn't gonna film this first test trip in case it's rough. I prefer to put out fun and organized videos, but truthfully, my life is not always fun and organized. So I figured I would show you guys the realistic side of vehicle living and not just the highlights. <laughs> Before we embark out into the real world, I wanna do a test night in my parents' backyard. That way if something goes wrong, we're not in trouble or anything. You ready? Let the trip begin. Try to contain your excitement. <laughs> Our first night was pretty chill. We had a campfire and roasted hot dogs. All right, little man, is there room for me in here? All right, scoot over, bubs. Oh, Lord. Sorry I disturbed you, puppy. We're gonna have a good first night, okay? Sleep tight. Good morning, guys. It's 7.30. This is the view from our window. I took the window covering down and the moon's shining, kind of shining, right down on us. Super pretty. I usually get up before Chase, so I'm going to try to make coffee and sneak back in bed before he starts to stir. Okay, I snuck up in the front seat without waking him up, but realized I left my Jackery in the way back and my coffee warmer in the very front here, and the Jackery is buried back there. So instead of dig that out, wake the dog up, do all that, um, I brought some cold brew concentrate as a backup, so I'm just gonna make cold brew this morning and then figure something else out for hot coffee tomorrow. We're not messing around today, we're using two. Mission successful. Good morning, how did you sleep? I think we both slept just okay, but not bad for our first night. Ready to get out? Okay, all right, let's get out. It's kind of cold out this morning. We needed our jackets, huh? Ready for breakfast? Num num. It's cool, buddy. You just relax. I'll do all the chores. Are you ready to hit the open road? Me too. Well, I'm really glad we did our first test night at my parents' house because it's two o'clock and we're just now finished with our morning routine and all the changes I wanted to make to the van. There were a few things I already wanted to rearrange, so I spent some time doing that. And there were a few items we forgot, so definitely would recommend a test night at home before you hit the road. Also, I cheated and used my family shower so I could hit the road feeling fresh and clean and not have to worry about finding a shower tomorrow if I don't feel like it. I don't have a lot of goals for this trip other than for me and Chase to become comfortable living in here. I wanna go through all the scenarios we would go through living in it full time. So I wanna do some work, I wanna have some fun, I wanna do our chores, those kind of things. And also I stuffed basically everything I had in the van in this car, so it is full to the brim. And if I've brought too much stuff and we're too uncomfortable and too cramped, then I will know I need to downsize before we take a longer trip. So I don't really have a plan for the rest of the day. This whole week's gonna be go with the flow, but I promise you it's gonna be an adventure one way or another. Our first stop was at a park for a snack. This was a first for me, but I found a working electrical outlet. So I'm just having some cheese and crackers and charging my laptop. Tonight's Saturday night, so it should be a good day to work. I do food delivery for the apps like Uber Eats, Grubhub, and DoorDash. I think I'm gonna head to Metro Detroit because I'm familiar with the area, so I know the safe places in town. Also, that area has a lot to offer, so I know I can spend several days there and it'll have everything that I need. And there's plenty of safe parking spots at night, so I'm gonna wrap up here and head that way. So since I'm delivering food in a car where a dog lives now, my plan is to only put food in the front seat and Chase will never be allowed anywhere in this front area. So that'll keep all the dog stuff in the back and um, all the customers delivery food will go up here. Even if I have to end up moving this to the back, 
just really important to me that I keep things clean. All right, it's 8.30. I did three deliveries and I made $34, which is nice because something already broke. <laughs> this is my 12 volt port expander. So it takes the one cigarette lighter and turns it into three and also has three additional USB ports here. So I love this thing. I use it all the time. That's probably why it died. So I'm gonna try to find another one locally tomorrow. It's kind of a long story. I won't bore you with the details, but I pretty much need this to make the fridge and Jackery set up work all day long while I'm driving, turn the car on and off, on and off. So I need one of these tomorrow. It's only 8.30, but I'm gonna turn the apps off and stop working now. I wanna make sure that our first night on the road is a success, so I wanna get everything set up early. I want to take down Chase's fort that I made and get everything set up for sleeping and change into my pajamas and take my contacts out and teeth brush and all that kind of stuff. So just in case that stuff takes longer or there's some frustrating parts, I'm not doing it while I'm super tired. So first I'm gonna find us a place to park tonight. Can't find my toothpaste, so it either fell out in the back somewhere and is lost in the abyss, or I forgot it at home. So I'm just dry brushing my teeth right now. <laughs> okay, it's 9.30, so I'm glad that I did get an early start. It did take longer than I thought. I found this carpool lot and I drove by it first and there's nobody in it. The area looks safe. You're allowed to park for 24 hours. So I drove to a nearby business to put up my window coverings and curtain and just get ready for the night because I don't want to do that ever in the place that I'm actually sleeping so I'm like one minute from this carpool now I'm gonna go find a spot and snuggle in for the night. Good morning we slept really well this is one of the best nights of sleep I've ever had on the road so definitely had an amazing first night there was no one in this entire giant parking lot all night. There was road noise and a train, but other than that, we were totally alone and we both slept really well. So very thankful for that. Now it's time for my second attempt at hot coffee. So let me show you what I've got set up here. I've got this extension cord that goes all the way to the back with my Jackery. And I just bought this water boiler and of course my coffee grounds and French press. So moment of truth. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a good day. I just spilled some coffee because I was trying to film and get it in the French press. Apparently that's too much this early. Good morning, baby dog. How did you sleep? I think you slept pretty good. It was so amazingly nice to have this whole parking lot to myself all night and this morning. I heard nobody while I was sleeping and I took two hours getting ready today. I did all my van chores and it's just such a luxury to be able to do your makeup and clean out your car and do all the things you need to do without anyone looking at you because usually you're in public and you get some weird looks because you're, all your doors are open and everyone can see in your car and you've got a dog. It's like a spectacle. So I just really took advantage of the luxury of being able to do all that stuff in privacy. So I found a farmer's market that says it's dog friendly about 10 minutes away. So we're gonna head over there next, check it out and hopefully get breakfast. I realized I just said van chores. I'm used to living in a van, so I might accidentally say van life or van something, but it's just a habit. I'm not trying to be a poser. I know I live in a car now. <laughs> Where are you going inside? The energy at the farmer's market was vibrant and cheery. It was nice to see other dogs there, so I knew Chase was welcome. It was fun to look at the vendors, but I was on a mission for food. A chicken shawarma wrap sounded irresistible. Hi. Can I get a chicken shawarma wrap, please? Yes. Anything else? That'll be all. Can I have the name of the order? Christine. We sat and ate on a bench in a cute butterfly garden. was Walmart to find a 12 volt expander. The reason I need this is this is the only 12 volt outlet in the whole car that shuts off when I turn the engine off and with me going in and out of the car a bunch of times per day I did not want to have to unplug and replug both of these in every single time I got out of the car. If I did not do that they would draw energy from the car's battery which I don't want to continuously do. So this $12 part allows me to keep my Jackery and my fridge plugged in all day long. I don't have to mess with it or worry about it draining my engine battery or needing to unplug them every time I turn the car off and plug them back in. 
again when I turn the car on. Now that we got Walmart out of the way for the day, I don't really have any plans. So I'm gonna turn on the food delivery apps and just kind of hang out in the Walmart parking lot until we get a job and just see where the day takes us. Well, this thing only made it about 10 minutes before everything shut down. I was going down the road and I heard the fridge shut off and I felt this and it was really hot and I pulled the Jackery plug out and it almost burned my hand. And I think what's happening is these are rated for 40 watts per outlet and the Jackery is pulling like 60. So just kind of fighting being annoyed. Um, but this is just part of car living. There's a lot of benefits, but one of the downfalls is you have to find random and sometimes annoying ways to power stuff. So back to the drawing board. I'm just going to keep the Jackery plugged into this outlet in the back here. And if I'm going to be inside a store or a food pickup for more than a couple minutes, I will come and unplug it. That's just my tentative plan, but it might change again. The fridge and the phone charger will share this front port, whichever one needs it the most at the time. I just wanted to show you guys this trick in case you didn't know. So I wanna take a break and make a salad. So I drove to the nearest park, but it does not have a restroom, which I need to use. If you type restroom into Apple Maps anyway, you can search nearby and sometimes, not always, but sometimes one shows up. And in this case, there is one and it is at James Nelson Park that's five minutes away. And since I have it on satellite, I can kind of zoom in and check out the facility, which it looks nice and exactly what I'm looking for so I'm gonna head that way. I stuffed this in here as my reminder to unplug the Jackery so I don't kill the car battery. I do have a jump box but I'm trying to avoid killing the car battery down to zero. So my thought was to hook up the solar panel while we took a break at the park and ate lunch but I'm only getting like 13 watts coming in and that is way too low. So I put it on the roof here just like so <laughs> and now i'm getting closer to 50 so i guess the windshield was blocking a lot of the solar energy i don't know um, if there's someone smarter than me that could let me know in the comments i'd really appreciate it so i'm going to check back in an hour and see how much juice we've gained so i'm fighting with this jackery solar panel and in the process i sat on my mic and broke the adapter off so the audio is going to suck for a minute and now i gotta try to find an adapter locally as well <laughs> I figured since my phone is already busted anyway, I would just take it out of the case so I could still use the mic. And then I broke my case. Ah! Lunch was a fresh spinach, shredded cheese, turkey, and ranch salad. My sunglasses just fell off the clip into my salad bowl. <laughs> what is my life today? All right, it's been an hour. You ready to go check on the solar panel? it only went up three percent in one hour probably because it's a little cloudy oh well it is what it is three percent is better than no percent well chase and i had a pleasant evening nothing else went wrong we just had a ton of fun working it's getting late now though and there's a planet fitness close by so i think i'm gonna spend the night there that way i can just wake up and take a quick shower in the morning that's the plan i'll see you in the morning So I parked in the Planet Fitness parking lot. So there's the gym. And we looked out because there's this beautiful lake and a nature trail right here. So Chase and I are gonna take a little morning walk, let him do his thing, and then I'm gonna head into the gym. I know he'll be totally fine in the car by himself for a really long time and it's, it's chilly out so he won't overheat or anything like that. But just to be totally safe. I'm not gonna work out today. I'm just gonna do some stretches and take a shower. And if he does well with that, then uh, the next time I'm here, I'll do a full workout and shower and everything. So that's the plan. Bubba, how pretty is this? We are definitely having breakfast here. It's been about an hour and 15 minutes. So let's check on the old baby. Hey, Pookie. You cool? Is that okay? Is that too long? You just snooze? All right, let's get out and make breakfast. All 
right, we're all cleaned up from breakfast and we did our car chores for the day, so it's time to hit the road. Today is probably the last perfect weather day here in Michigan for the year. So I'm thinking it'd be a really good day to go to a beach and kind of have like a bit of a water fun day. I'm about 45 minutes away from Lake St. Clair, which is a huge freshwater lake. I'm probably gonna turn on the food delivery apps and hopefully get some jobs and kind of mosey my way over to that side of the state. I chose Lake St. Clair Metro Park. I found it on the All Trails app. You can search by dog friendly and stroller friendly. You can select map view on the top right and it will show you everything that meets your qualifications. The only one that showed up on Lake St. Clair was the Metro Park. It was $10 to get in for the day, which I don't like paying for things that are normally free like parks, but it's a very nice large park with plenty of restrooms and lots of paved trails right along the coast. There you go. All right, Chase. See that peninsula way over there? Let's see if we can go have a picnic on it, huh? All right, Chase, we started here and we're only here. If you want to have a picnic here, we got a long way to go. You smell that lake air, buddy? It smells good, doesn't it? I see it in the distance, Gazebo Point. There wasn't a beautiful sunset like I was hoping for, but Chase and I still enjoyed watching the kite borders and walking the beach. I just got back from doing another night walk on the loop. We walked over seven miles today, so definitely got our $10 worth. The night loop was kind of scary because there was no lights, but it was super beautiful. I even saw two skunks, but I was not about to stop and film them and get sprayed. <laughs> well, it's 8.30 and I'm pooped and Chase is exhausted. I just set up the car for sleeping. So all I have to do is brush my teeth and do my nighttime stuff and get my pajamas and I'll be done for the day. There is a Cracker Barrel nine miles away, so I'm gonna drive there next. And as long as it looks safe, then that's gonna be home for the night. Good night. So when I pulled into the Cracker Barrel last night, there was one other van here, but other than that, it's totally empty and it was a very quiet, peaceful night. Super thankful for that. I typically don't start my day out with this much sugar, but there's nothing in the world I want more than these strawberry cheesecake stuffed pancakes right now. Look at those. And they come with bacon and eggs, so I can justify it by saying that it'll be lunch too. <laughs> this is the life. I'm in a warm, cozy bed with tasty hot coffee. Got a sleepy, cuddly pup and cheesecake pancakes on the way. Oh 
yeah. Strawberry syrup. Chase smells like he's on his way up. Between the sugary pancakes and the coffee, I am buzzing hard and ready to start the day. I need to do all of my car chores, but I am confident that's not the vibe Cracker Barrel is going for in their parking lot, and I'm very thankful they allow us to stay overnight. So I'm gonna go to a park that's two miles away. It's on Lake St. Clair, it's a small one, but I'll get my car chores done for the day there. We've had a lot of fun this week, but we haven't worked that much, so I am gonna focus on food delivery today. But the sun is shining, the weather's nice, so I'm in a great mood and it's gonna be a great day. had some upper body workout equipment, which is good because based on my pull-up performance, my upper body strength could use some work. <laughs> After getting my car chores done, I worked for a while until it was time for lunch. We found another park and warmed up our leftovers. I don't want to give Chase people food too much because I don't want him to freak out every time he smells food, but sometimes it's just too convenient to let him lick the recycling. Well, today was a really pleasant day. We mostly just hung out at a couple parks and did some work. The most eventful thing that happened was I watched a kid try to eat 14 tacos in 10 minutes for a taco challenge. He didn't make it, but it was still fun to watch. I had planned on going home today because it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, but I got thinking about it and Chase and I should probably experience a rain day because we're gonna run into that on the road when we're further from home. So might as well do one and just kind of see how it goes and make sure I'm, I've packed correctly and all that kind of stuff. So we're probably gonna get a little bit wet tomorrow <laughs> but I have an outline of ways to hopefully keep us as happy and dry as possible. So my plan is to sleep at a Planet Fitness tonight and I mapped it out and there's a car wash not too far from the Planet Fitness so I'm gonna sleep at Planet Fitness, drive to the car wash in the morning which it'll be raining so there should be nobody there and drive into one of the bays and that will at least allow me to open the doors and get the dog out and he'll have to you know walk around in the rain but I have an umbrella but at least I'll be able to open my doors and access my stuff without getting soaking wet. So <laughs> do that, get the chase morning stuff out of the way and then head back to the gym and get my shower and all that stuff and then we'll see how the day goes from there. That's the plan to at least get us through the morning. So I'll see you then, good night. super lucked out because there's a break in the rain so we don't have to do the whole car wash plan so I'm just gonna take Chase for a walk on this little island right here and the gym is right there so Whew. already off to a better start than I anticipated Chase is yummy Since it's wet out, I'm just eating very easy snacks with no prep and no cleanup like applesauce and pecans. After breakfast, Chase and I hung out at a pavilion with a sheltered bathroom. I got some work done and he got to stretch his legs. I started to get hungry again and the cold snacks from the car were not cutting it. I wanted something warm and hearty. I passed a Panda Express with covered outdoor seating. I decided that would be a good spot for us to get lunch. I asked the manager if it was okay if I brought a dog on the patio. He took pity on me and let me bring Chase inside to a table in the back so we could enjoy our food where it was warm and dry. All right, Chase, what does that fortune say? A wink and a smile will brighten someone's day. I agree. So what did you think of Panda Express, Chase? Pretty good, huh? Well, I think this is a good spot to end our trip. We've had six days of amazing adventures and we've both got comfortable living in the car. I feel confident that we'll be able to do well with a longer trip. So what do you think, Chase? You wanna go home and plan our trip down south for the winter? Yeah, me too. Anything you wanna add? Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and turn on the notification bell. You're right, thank you for remembering that. <laughs> 
All right, guys, we'll see you next time.